Hello, my name is Sip Mendez. Welcome to Sip's Wood Chips. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. And uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, watching the videos. And if this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe. And when you do, make sure you uh, also click on the bell. That way you can get notifications of each new video as I release them. Okay. So last week's video was about uh, making chess pieces. And uh, Here's the, the piece I made, a little pawn, and it looks very much like uh, the original. I think it worked out well. But I used this screw chuck, and uh, I got a question about uh, where to get these, and I looked around on Amazon, I looked around on Walmart.com, I also looked at uh, where I originally got it, which was Sears, and these are hard to find. I don't see anybody selling them new. Uh, I looked on eBay for maybe a used one, and I couldn't find any on eBay. But there are some alternatives, and uh, we'll look at those today. This is the screw chuck that I used in the video, and I didn't realize that these are hard to find now. Yeah, this is a number two Morris taper, and it has, looks like about the same size as a uh, quarter inch lag screw not very different at all this little disc is about one and a half inches across one and a half inches would be somewhere around 35 millimeter okay number two Morris taper and it is tapped for a quarter inch uh, by 20 for the draw bar looks like I got a, looks like I got a few little scratches in there and I filed those off. Let's look at another kind. So this is what they called a lathe mounted expanding cowlet chuck. And what it's made for is for turning very small bowls. And it, um, it, you use your chuck in the expanding mode. You drill a recess of one and three eighths inches in diameter and maybe only a, a quarter of an inch deep and you insert the jaws in there and expand them by tightening this part here. I don't have the jaws handy. I've misplaced them just now. But um, you can remove this. You can insert one of these little screws. And these are real common for uh, furniture. It's uh, machine threaded on one side and screw threaded on the other. You just turn this in about a quarter inch or so, and you insert a grub screw. And that locks this in place. And I have a one and a quarter inch uh, arbor. These are made for one inch arbors, eight threads per inch, but I do have an adapter to show you what it looks like mounted and you just put that on there like that and uh, you're ready to go then you just mount your 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 blank on there and then you can turn that okay these sell for about uh, well they're priced at forty dollars and most of the time you can find them for thirty even twenty five dollars on amazon and this one is by robert sorby and these are a little expensive, I think. They sell for about 50 or 60 bucks. I got this one on clearance for $3.99. <laughs> uh, like most things, I got a lot of things and I don't use them. But this is nice because what it is, is, is on your chuck with standard jaws, you have this machine piece here. It's uh, got a groove there for your jaws to fit, and then a larger plate there. It has a, your screw there, and it too is about the same as a quarter inch lag screw might be. All you got to do is put it in there, tighten it down. And that becomes your screw chuck. Okay. 
and then you can mount your piece in there. Um, but you always leave a little extra in there, about an inch, to, so you don't cut the screw, and that gives you plenty of room to, to work on. Here is another uh, method, and that is using your drill chuck. And I, th I th found this kind of surprising. This is a hole saw, okay, and, but you can disassemble it. And it has this part here. This is a, a quarter inch a pilot bit, but you can remove that and you can install one of these that um, are used for furniture. They use those a lot for legs and things like that on, on tables. And you can mount this in your drill. And you can use that for turning small pieces, knobs, chess pieces, and, and all. And you can just mount them in there. Just drill your hole to about 3 16 tighten that on there, and you're ready to go. This part here is a little bit small, but it's still, it's still about uh, maybe uh, 3 quarters of an inch. Yeah, I think that's 3 quarters of an inch in diameter, and that will give you uh, support to, to turn small objects. And this, of course, use a draw bar so that this doesn't come loose while you're turning or give it a good tap with a, a mallet or block of wood. These I made and all they are is a uh, piece of wood and I drilled a hole through them and in a uh, two-inch arbor on a chuck you can grab these with your chuck and if you want to turn large objects you can drill them tap them and uh, use this to spin large objects these are very similar to these and these are the ones that normally come with with, with your chucks but um, you can the, you can see that these are much larger in diameter and I made these again from uh, lag screws, very low lag screws. This one, a little bit smaller than that one. But uh, I also have what they call uh, spigot jaws, and these fit into spigot jaws real quite well. All right. So that's about uh, everything I have on on screw chucks. And so there, there's the 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 one that came with my Nova chuck. You can make one from just a 3 inch faceplate and a lag screw. I should keep a little brush over here. I don't see my little brush. Alright. And so that should be about half an inch or about 12 millimeters in. I'm going to go ahead and drill the, this little hole the rest of the way through. I can stop it and drill it in. That way, if I have to do anything on the other side, everything is very well centered. Could have been a little better fit. I'll put a little glue on it here. And I'm going to glue the bottom and all around the sides. Make sure it's got plenty of glue. And we'll put this in here. And we'll put a little pressure on it. And we'll let that harden according to. tight and start squeaking then it's, you know it's time to clean it. And I think it's all the way through now. 
that was a simple type of chuck to make. And uh, I didn't have to put any epoxy on it. This screw is so long, there's so much friction in here that uh, I don't need to uh, put any epoxy in there. I don't think that's going to turn. And this was a quarter inch uh, leg screw, so you would have to drill your pieces at about 3 16 or maybe just a tiny bit larger. Okay, so that's a faceplate type of uh, screw chuck. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it was informative. I hope you, you learned something. I know I learned quite a bit. I didn't realize how many different ways I had to turn small things like knobs and, and chess pieces. Okay. If you have any comments, leave them in the space below. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It always helps me out. <laughs> Makes me feel good. Um, yeah, comments. I need comments. I'm always uh, uh, looking for uh, what you guys think. That, that helps me figure out what kind of things I should be doing in my videos. So until next time, take care.